Hey, all this dinosaur in um, the last of the work of art here, and it was kind of shortened because there's only a few people left, <laughs> and uh, three shows. But there were big shows overall. But I thought um, both episodes need to be mentioned here on that specifically episode nine and ten. Uh, when I looked at the episode nine when that how that started, that was started as a nature theme where you had to use pieces of nature. Um, and somehow work it into your arc. And seeing how some of the people uh, uh, approached it here was actually quite intriguing on how it was done. On that, um, one of the persons that would come to is Abdi with his, his symbolism of the baptism and rebirth. That was pretty neat. Um, the whole tree, uh, purgings, I believe it was purgings with the tree and the, and the, um, uh, people having sex in the tree that I could see on uh, conceptually because what it is is that uh, nature to her where she grew up was not like it was like Central Park it was like thing where people were messing around people were, there weren't parks there weren't fun places to her and that's what she was trying to say um, Jacqueline tried to do this horizon thing with a rock which made no little to no sense to me on it and because it was just like on a horizon uh for a rock i mean honestly you'd been better doing the picture than doing um not a cross but a targeting see on ships they have a horizon meter or if you did a symbolism of a uh on an airplane uh, where it shows if you're level up or down and the dial rolls inside on that that way it keeps it's better than electronic it keeps a hundred percent accurate where exactly you are it doesn't require electronics it works with gravity on that so uh, she could have made that a little better than that um, uh, Miles made this funky torture device to show the effects of bleach blue uh, I don't get that one that one was just like that was out of left field and it made all these marks and they said it was about decay and it really my hunch was is that he had an idea it wasn't working out right so he bullshitted his way to make it work so give him props on that but eh, well so anyway the the whole episode went pretty smoothly um uh they had the show the judges were looking at miles big torture device where it stabbed people on that and they they could recap all the problems they've had of items breaking and not working correctly, which is typical with this show. Out of all the pieces, I would have to say Abdi's baptism probably required the most work on that. Whereas everyone else, um, the mile uh, miles kind of just went together. Jacqueline's water thing was. Rather plain, I agree that per, uh, purchase of the the forest thing uh, that was a neat idea, but I don't know about that. And I think I'm missing someone. Let me take a quick look. Uh, no, no, no. I believe that covers it here on that. And uh, it's just it, it was overall as an interesting episode, but you can see why Abdi and and the Lesser is going to win on that. Yes, he does win in season ten, but. Yeah, he, he's got some real talent in here. Why he's butting up to Miles, I don't know. Because Miles is really, eh, whatever. I mean, that's your thing, that's your thing. But at least show some respect to his people, whereas he doesn't do that on that. But anyway, they had a guest judge who's like a nature person that went through this. Oh, and, the, oh, and, um, and they went through everything. And uh, it actually, I forgot what I was going to say, but they went okay. So episode 9, not much really to report, other than the fact that instead of the other episodes, two people got eliminated, because three were going to go on to the finals. The two people were eliminated was Jacqueline and Nicole, and the three three people um, that was going on uh, was simply Abdi, Miles, and Perdrine. On that. So they went on to episode 10, which is the finale, which that's the next thing. Episode 10, the the people were allowed to take months off to go ahead and make a whole arc out of their work. And, of course, we have to recap all the problems they have while they're doing all the stuff and everything's getting big. And that, and the statues. Like my, I would say Abdi was the most creative. He had these clay or plaster statues that are lying down on the ground, which were very, very fascinating here. 
Um, Pershing, I give her credit because she had a cotton candy machine. And I'll tell you, in an art facility, anyone's giving out cotton candy or champagne, the first place everybody goes. <laughs> Nowhere else. Um, uh, that Miles, um, his work, Miles was interesting because he was trying to go for a little bit of shock value but make you think about it. Whereas one man, he took a picture and he was dead on Wednesday. And uh, he worked out with his art. And I don't think anybody understood that. And if he pointed that out, that person died two days later, that would have had a greater impact. I've had that happen in my, in my life where I met uh, someone's father and they were dead two days later on that. And uh, I never could really say like anything to them. I, I, I had no business talking, but they were dead. So there's nothing I could have done. But they get their whole art show together, and of course, you know, Abdi's having problems. His whole statue is like, falling apart. It was not done when it was packed correctly. But he got it together. Everything was pretty much, and the whole art show went really well. And they brought in the cast for, uh, from the previous episodes to come see the last show on that. So they all came, saw the last show. They all gave some opinions, which was neat on that. There means no hard feelings on that. And then um, they picked at the end, uh, ended up picking Abdi as the next great artist. You could see throughout the series his trouble, maybe you grasp him, but he had a natural talent, I'll give you that. I would say, of the whole uh, work of art, um, I would say um, the way I would rate it is on, uh, how I rank it everything, on the, in my own personal opinion, just pure artistic skill. Uh, I would have to say Abdi is probably the number one person on that on that whole thing. I would say a very good follow-up was Eric on that. He had a great conceptualization and uh, he he could do it. The problem is he's just a little rough personality on that. He on that. Um, and I would say probably maybe Jacqueline after that on that. Even though she's hot, she uses it too much to her advantage. And she is really creative on her stuff, but sometimes her stuff is just lost in translation. And she was so desperate in trying new ideas to win to her hair. And mainly the shock thing where people could write on her or anything else. That's just... Now that she's done that, okay, no one else can do that. Because that's the cool thing about it. She did that. I don't know if she was the first one, but she did that. Had enough guts to do that. And, then, and now everyone's like... Whoa, and then if anybody comes up with the same idea, unless you're like some gay dude or some <laughs> fat ass, <laughs> no, it's been done, and everyone will cite it. So, sorry, i give her props. It was a pretty creative idea. So, I would say she would be the third uh, ranked. On the, the rest kind of all kind of merged together. I would say the lowest one, I would say um, Trong on that because he was an asshole in the beginning he got kicked out early his he was so busy with what he says even though he was an artist and had his own career and everything he didn't get in that community because he wasn't willing to listen to anybody else he was more interested in what he was his right and he ain't going to care about anyone else's opinion and that um without you being cri critiquing yourself without listening that's a fallacy he was 10 I would say um, the guy with the Photoshop Blues, Mark, uh, he would say nine on that because Photoshop is not, if you're good at Photoshop, you're good at Photoshop. I wouldn't call you an artist on that. Anyone, Photoshop is becoming so common now that anyone could get good at it. I mean, come on, get real on that. Uh, then I would have to say the next person would be that, um, not Tron, what was her name? Um, Judith. Uh, Judas, the old lady from New York, on that, where she didn't, she was so stubborn, she was getting a thing. And then everyone else kind of mixed in on that. Um, but um, overall, it was rather an interesting show on that. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be renewed again. I don't know why it would. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't that great, in my opinion. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed these reviews. Um, and uh, we'll just kind of see what happens in the future. But uh, I'm going to put all these up. I'm going Sunday around 11.30 almost. And uh, I'll get this all done. And I hope you all have a good evening. Bye.